Legend has it that Ibrahim al Mahdi was a talented storyteller. I thought I had this talent, right? And was respected by the king, often calling him to tell stories to him. One day the king summoned Ibrahim al Ma and asked, Please tell me a thrilling story. Yes, sir. Ibrahim answered and began to tell, My lord, I once went on a trip to a strange land. Suddenly I smelled the food, so I wanted to see it with my own eyes. The god stood stunned, unable to enter the house with a fragrant smell. But a wonderful voice suddenly rang out, making me almost faint. Forgetting those dishes, I intended to enter the house with the singing voice. Seeing that there was a tailor shop nearby, I immediately went near to greet the shop owner. He greeted back and I asked whose house this was. The tailor said that the house belonged to a merchant who only made friends with the upper class. The curious god asked the merchant and number 39 name and was satisfied. While we were talking, two horsemen laughing and two black horses came. At first glance, I knew they were powerful people. The tailor told them their names and said they were his friends. The god spurred the horse to catch up with the two riders and said, and quat, gentlemen, our hospitable friend is eagerly waiting for you. And quat. Then the god cleverly went into the yard and into the house to meet the boss. Seeing me, the boss thought that I was a friend of his two guests. He welcomed me very solemnly and invited me to sit in the place of honor. A while later, the dishes were brought out and I thought, and quat. God has helped me achieve my first wish. So now I can taste delicious dishes that make me ecstatic. And quat. After a hearty meal, people led the guests into the living room, which was lavishly decorated with rare items. The homeowner gave me solemn ceremonies, and thought that I was a friend of the two guests. As for the other two, they thought I was a close friend and honored guest of the host. Being treated thoughtfully, I drank a lot. A moment later, a well-proportioned maid came out holding a lute. She plays the piano and sings sweet melodies. When she sings the line, I am very surprised at the twist of fate because we share the same blood. Why is he silent? My lord, I was very emotional, the alcohol made me dizzy. The god felt jealous of the girl and number 39's talent. The god came to her and said, and quat, hey girl, there and number 39's something missing in your song. And quat, hearing that, the maid angrily threw down her lute and said to the host and guests, and quat, since when have you allowed idiots to enter your guild, and quat. I felt very regretful when I saw that they did not like my presence and thought. And quat. Perhaps my hopes have deceived me. And quat. Not knowing what to do to relieve his shame, the god took the lute and said, And quat. Now I will explain what is missing in her voice. And quat. The homeowner and the guests seemed to really enjoy listening to the god sing. God tuned the guitar and raised his voice. Stunned by the sound of the instrument and the song of the god, the maid knelt down to kiss the god and number 39's feet and exclaimed, and quat, sir, please forgive me, because I did not know that you could play and sing so wonderfully. In my life, I have never heard anyone sing so beautifully. And quat, the host and guests also admired him very much, praised him and asked him to sing again. The god plays and sings, and they enjoy his voice and drink wine. In the end the two guests got very drunk, and so my servants put them on horseback. And took them back to their home. There are only three people left. 
the master, the maid and the god. After drinking a glass of wine, the master lovingly said to the god, and quot, Sir, I think my life has not been meaningless, because I have met someone like you. Please introduce yourself who you are and what your name is so I can know the name of the best friend that Allah sent to meet me today. I kept talking around to avoid the answer, but the boss kept asking me until the end, so I had to say who I was. Hearing my name and knowing that I was your majesty and number 39's uncle, the merchant stood up, bowed down and exclaimed, and quot, what a great honor has come to you, and quot, it is clear that fate has brought to our house a noble guest your lord and number 39's uncle. Glory belongs to luck. But it and number 39. S. Very possible that this is just a dream because you don and number 39. T. Even dare to wish for a minister to visit you. And quot, I calmed him down, but he asked me what brought me to his house. Without hiding anything, the god told the whole truth and added. And quot, I have enjoyed your dishes, but I have not met the person who sang the wonderful song. And quot, the boss said, if it is beneficial to Allah, then you will meet her. He immediately sent for all the maids to come out. The maids came out one by one, but I didn't and hash 39. T see anyone with a singing voice that captivated me. Sir said the boss, as for the women and girls, there are only my mother and sister left. If you want, I and number 39, LL call them out. And quot, the homeowner and number 39's generosity astounded me. I also admire his hospitality very much. Call your sister out here. God told him. And quot, yes, and quot, he answered and sent someone to call her. When the homeowner and number 39, S. Younger sister came out, I immediately recognized her voice and said to my brother, and quot, it and number 39, S. True that you made me ecstatic with your singing voice. And quot, immediately, the master sent two slaves to find two witnesses. When the witnesses arrived, the homeowner produced two purses, each containing 10,000 denarii in gold and told them, This is the minister Ibrahim al-Mahdi the Sultan and number 39's uncle. You came to ask my sister to marry me, so I invited you too to testify that I married my sister to you with a dowry of 10,000 francs. And quot, then he turned to the god and said, And quot, I would like to marry your sister to be your legal wife with this dowry. And quot, and quot. I agree to marry her, and quot. The god happily replied. Then the homeowner gave one wallet to his sister, and two to the witnesses. Then he turned to me and exclaimed, and quot. Sir, I really want to visit you. And quot. Admiring his generosity and generosity, I agreed and asked him to have the things delivered to my house. My lord, he has brought to my house so much wealth that I don and number 39. T know where to put it all in my large palace. And that wonderfully beautiful singer, one year later gave birth to a boy who is standing before you. After hearing Ibrahim and number 39's story, the king was very surprised and could not believe that there was such a generous businessman. O oh Allah, it and number 39. S. Hard to believe this story. I have never heard such a thing. Immediately, Ibrahim al-Mahdi called his brother-in-law to present to the king. When conversing with the king, the generous merchant answered with wise words, with his respect and learning, which greatly pleased and loved the king. To show his trust, the king made him one of his trusted courtiers.
Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.